you know, you're on a Netflix show. Do people now ask you for your Netflix password? <laughs> Do you share it? What's your process with that? Um, so I share my Netflix account with my boyfriend and that's, that's about it. Everyone else can get their own Netflix subscription. Now they're going to be hitting you up. <laughs> I can't have it. I'm sorry, it's too bad. So set up the premise for the show. Um, so Seven Seconds is about a, a black teenager in Jersey who is accidentally run over by a white police officer. And there's a decision-making moment where the officer decides to try and cover up what he's done rather than own up to it. And I play a Jersey City prosecutor and my friend and colleague, Michael Mosley, plays um, a police officer. And we end up being, you know, put into it, reluctantly put into a team together and, and trying to find out the truth of what happened. God, your accent is so... I had no idea that you were English. Oh, right. Okay, that's good. That's great. So how, like, how did you, were well, the process for getting into the accent, getting right. into this character? Right. I, I mean, like a lot of people, I had a dialect coach, and I think it's, I think it's definitely easier for English actors coming this way because we watch so much American content. Um, and so that sound and those voices are in our ears anyway. So it's not necessarily maybe as hard as, as American actors going the other way. Um, but I had a wonderful dialect coach who, you know, had approached her job very scientifically and, and it's very interesting to uh, look at dialects and, and look at language and understand even the physical geography and the mouth of how things have to change to create different sounds. Tell me the timeliness of this show, mm. obviously. This is in the zeitgeist right now. Why is this important that people watch it? I think because it's something that's happening to people every day. And and it is, it is timely right now because social media has cast such a spotlight on it. But it's also something that's been happening for a really long time. That racial geography in this country is really messed up. And people have experiences, and specifically here dealing with this show, African Americans have experiences like this all of the time, or at least prepared for it to be a part of their lives, or have, you know, a cousin or a brother or an uncle or, you know, some other relative who has been through it. And I think to validate the experiences of those people is really important, because when you see something looking back at you that you recognize, I think you feel more invested in your society because you feel like someone's listening, and when you don't, you know, when it comes to you know politics and education and the economy, you think, well, why do I? Why should I contribute? Because nobody cares about what I'm going through. And on the other side of that coin, I think it's important to illuminate some of these experiences to people who maybe don't have much contact with different communities themselves, and to help them understand that this is going on and have empathy for it. And I think only by doing that can we come anywhere close to a solution. Since playing a prosecutor, <laughs> can you recite me my Miranda rights? I can recite the English version, which is, uh, I think it's you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Oh, I don't remember it. It's something like that. It's something about you don't have to say anything, but anything you do say might be held against you and you're in a lot of trouble, basically. I mean, I would just tell you everything. <laughs>